Try things. This is a job about your imagination. You can make a movie influenced by life. You can make a character influenced by a human. You. Y'all don't pay no attention to that uh, title. I gotta change that. I gotta change that. So um, let me change that title right quick. Good eve. Good afternoon, everybody. That's not the title. We already did that. together for y'all good evening to everybody that's here uh oh I think we got it right yeah we got it right boom 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 boom, boom. good evening everybody that's here I appreciate y'all Trying to get this shit right. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, 
What's going on, people? Karan Goodman channel died. <laughs> what happened to it? Turn that either off. What happened to it? Karan Goodman channel died. <laughs> what happened to it? Turn Did you get your ginger in the day? Appreciate y'all for coming through. Yo, that title nutty. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I'm just going off. I'm just going off of the information that was left. Shit, we gotta Don't keep our. Me. Okay. Me. There we go. I had to get it right. My bad. Um. Yeah, man. What the fuck is going on? The South versus the world. What you think about Young Chop? He gonna get himself hurt. Um. I seen a video earlier today by Mikey T, the movie star. Since she's been in jail, since she's been arrested, Dark Loaded made two two more incriminating phone calls. Let's talk about it. My title. I'm posing a question to the chat room. Um, what y'all think? Everything that he's done thus far. It wasn't, it's not consistent with, with the person who he was trying to sell us. Um, despite getting an intimidating of a witness case. No, nah, let me go back. He said, yep, them niggas, he, he seems to want to go to jail. Man, listen. This started when the case, when the case first when the case first started, when it first was presented, and he didn't get picked up with the rest of them, when he didn't go to jail with the rest of them, I believe that didn't sit did, that didn't sit well with his brand. Um, he was telling us the whole time he was stirring up the pot and he was re-rocking the brick and he was doing this and he was doing that and that don't seem to be the truth. Dark Lowe is a typical neighborhood guy that's loyal but not real wounded. Now nah, he ain't got good sense at all. He don't got good sense at all. Um, everything that he's displayed, I mean, he younger. He younger than me anyway. Um, everything that he's displayed was amateur. Amateur shit. I don't understand it. I don't understand why he keep digging and digging and digging. It's like he want to be there. He said nigga was all artistry. You would think Lowe would practice what he preached in his rhymes as far as not talking to the feds. Man, he need to be, they need to keep phones and shit away from him. He need to be kept off the fucking phone. He need to, he need to be kept away from phones. Phones don't sit well with him. Whenever he's around a phone or any type of communication, it just go bad. Ab fed those guys with whatever was going on. He lost at this point. That's why Ab always have to correct him. Grown man, child. I mean, isn't Pusha T doing the same as Dark Lope preaching what he's seen? Nah. 
Dark Low said he was a participant. He didn't say he he didn't say this is what he seen. He said he was a participant. Go listen to the records. He didn't go down with them because he really wasn't around. He was sick. He let his emotions fall into play. Taz was his folks. I understand that. I, be, I believe he felt personally responsible for the things that happened with OBH, especially the testimony by Taz. And that is y'all keep keeping up with this. Before I go in, are y'all keeping up with this case? Do y'all know what be going? Do y'all know what's going on? He said Shady literally said this was ha this would happen. He did. He did. He was telling me the whole time. He said, man, them niggas going to jail. Said he brought Taz around, but he has a recording saying Taz did nine shootings. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? What y'all think about him Him saying this guy, he, uh, you know, he killed people. Y'all Y'all mad at me for intimidating a witness and he killed people or... He a murderer. <laughs> he shouldn't have been saying that, man. He said, you can fix a lot of things, but you can't fix stupid. He going to jail. Um, he said, low toad, I'm not on here putting a, um, a snitch tag on him. That's not what I'm doing. I'm saying that he talked too much, and he definitely wasn't the person that he told us he was in music. Straight up. Straight up. He's showing, he's proven to be an amateur. An amateur. For real. Andre Smith said, I think he talked too much. He said, got you. I'm just hopping on. I'm being for real about this. Um, I was done with the whole topic, but I'm still following the case. Uh, I was listening to Taz to, uh, break down how he killed the boy Robbie or led Robbie to his death. That shit was very fucking disturbing. Very fucking disturbing. Um, Dirtbag type niggas. Maybe he was practicing Islam. Man, leave Islam out of it. Islam don't turn into Rico cases. Y'all need to stop that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Um, maybe he picked that shit up from Ab. Ab did a lot of talking on camera too and shit. I don't know about voice recordings and shit like that or what's going on with him since he been uh, been down. But, yeah. Um, dark Low, he's... Seem like he building a case on himself. Like he he's trying to ensure that he be there for a minute. Dark Low shouldn't even put himself in that predicament, knowing his health. Um, one of the on one of the conversations he was telling a girl, he was like, "I shouldn't, I shouldn't have wrote that letter." He said, "I shouldn't have wrote that fucking letter. I shouldn't have wrote it." You right. You should have wrote that shit. When you're quiet or isn't a person of many words, it's hard to expose a person's weaknesses. You think it's over for Ab? I don't know. Um, the most strong, the strongest piece of evidence, in my opinion, against Ab was a guy who had multiple murder cases over his head. Taz, he was going to tell anything to save his life. He was going to fabricate anything. He was going to um, sensationalize anything to, shape, to save his life. I don't think he ever really gave a explanation on why he started doing what he was doing. Um, that's crazy when the motherfucker who's doing all the killing start telling on people and shit. That's that's really, that's, that's wild. Mindy, what's good? How did he not know that call was listening, being listened on? Two things. Number one, there's a recording that tells you you're being monitored or recorded 
Or number two, you call them from a, a federal detention center or a federal holding facility. I mean, goddamn, they used to dealing with drug cases. You seen they put a motherfucking, they put a, a recording device in Tommy, no, not Tommy, yeah, Tommy Hill and all of them. Kabani Savage, they had fucking recording devices in the fucking, um, in the ventilation. So whatever them niggas was saying, they was hearing that shit. You got to know, I mean, goddamn, Kibani put himself in the hole by talking too much. How you don't hold the killer down, that's a, that's a very interesting question, too. Very interesting. I got to get an ashtray. Give me one second. Gully, you a stand-up nigga. Don't turn standard for extra gears. I don't have the slightest idea what the fuck you talking about. I don't uh, aspire to live to anybody's expectations and shit. I got an expectation for my motherfucking self. Like, sometimes the, the words that y'all put together in these chat rooms, you wasting your time, my nigga. Straight up. A lot of abs case seems to be uh, strong word of mouth. Nah, it's niggas telling on him. And the, the, the sh I've been listening to it the whole time. It's two, two or three channels that cover the shit: Hip Hop Daily News and Crown TV. They keep us updated on what's going on. I haven't heard anything damaging against AR Ab. They saying that well, you was talking about some bricks on this one song. You lost ten bricks. The feds grabbed ten bricks after they, I guess, they grabbed really grabbed ten bricks. That's all speculation. You can't do that, but. The guy telling on him is got multiple cases over his head and shit. Gully, you know half of these niggas struggle to put together a sentence. Man, well, be quiet then. If the sentence is going to put you in prison, be the fuck quiet, man. Be the fuck quiet. I like that Jeff Hamilton interview. Thank you. C. Harden says they whole group talk, talk too much. They was entertainers, but they was talking about real life activities, uh, apparently. It seems low as ignorant in an innocent way. That's how me and his incident started. He sent a fucking video to me. That's how the <laughs> That's how our incident started. I have a video from him saying, yo man, you should watch what you say. Somebody could shoot you. I mean sue you. He sent that shit to me and didn't think I was gonna monetize and put that shit on the internet. Talk about some you dry snitching. Nigga. This is a jackpot interview. Can you say more? Say something else. All oh, this shit going online. <laughs> but that's how I started. That's how I started. I'm serious. I'm serious. When he did that to me, I was like, whoa, I couldn't believe it. I played it back. I'm like, this shit worth money. I'm like, if he could say two, three more of these, I'm lit. That's how the whole incident started with us and them. Seriously. He said a motherfucking video. If that ain't motherfucking, if that's not evidence, nigga, you just sent a video, that's a threat. Motherfucker, you got a problem threatening motherfuckers. That's what it is. You got a problem threatening motherfuckers, man. Damn. I just thought of that. He said, then Earn a call. No, nah, me, and, me, and, me and Earn, we had already talked on the phone. If y'all go listen to the interview I did with Earn back then, he even gave me a drop at the interview. We took care of business on that that phone conversation. We got down to the what, what the fuck was going on. His perspective, my perspective, whatever, whatever. 
we got down to it and after he was able to air him air his you know his concerns or whatever i said man go ahead give me a drop for gully tv he said yo this your boy hodge king da, 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 you watching gully tv he participated in it i'm just being for real so once me and him did that 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 was cool we was done with it dark low come start sending me uh video messages like two days later and shit mm-hmm Lowe said they gave him your mom address. He said that too. And he wasn't going to do nothing. He said Lowe wild out. Too much internet and email. And he really trashed himself. P.A. Dre said, I wish he'd give me my CMOS I paid for last year. I know you lying. He said he should stick to making music with Griselda. Ain't gonna be making no music no time soon for them. It ain't. Subscribe to the channel. It's almost 400 people here. We only got 50 likes, man. Why y'all treat me so bad? I don't ask y'all for donations. I'm gonna come in here with my cup one day. With one of them bells like the fucking uh, Salvation Army and shit. Start shaking my motherfucking bell. Y'all don't want to like my videos. I just want y'all to keep me in the search engine. When being too gangster goes wrong. Being gangster ain't what's up. Everybody that I know gangster got some, got some, some tick under their belt. Everybody I know gangster got some tick under their belt. I mean, they get, they'll get that gangster shit up out of, uh, out of you real quick. Them institutions. Speaking of the institutions, right? There's a video out of some um, of, of of a brother. It looked like he in federal prison because he got the gray sweatsuit on, but he got his mask, he got the sur surgical mask on, and he he breathing hard. He like, yo, man, y'all gotta get us out of here. <laughs> He's like, yo, man. He's like, yo. Y'all got to get us out of here. People in here dying and shit. <laughs> I'm like, my nigga. <laughs> Come on, man. They didn't stop you before you start recording that. Somebody was supposed to say, yo, put, put, that, butt, put that phone down. Straight up. You're asking. You're looking for sympathy from a motherfucker who put you in prison. You dig know what I'm saying? The county jails and shit like that. If you have a bail... And they, you know, it's coronavirus concerns. They can waive your bail. Like everybody got drunk driving and disorderly conduct, shoplifting, domestic shit. You can give all of them a bail. Everybody bail $100. Y'all get up. A matter of fact, it's $100 suspended, you know. Or we giving everybody own recognizance bail and shit. They can go home. But if your ass been convicted and you're in an institution, if your parole date ain't in view you gonna be there my nigga he said i see it crazy but the jails make money off enemies listen it be niggas in population with all type of motherfucking diseases in population fucking uh you know what the fuck tuberculosis fucking um all kind of shit. Niggas be sick. Uh, what the fuck? HIV, of course. Some niggas probably got AIDS. This is in population. Straight up. So, uh, yeah, MRSA. Like, all kind of shit. All kind of shit. You not getting out of here? You want us to... You want to be quarantined, motherfucker? You can go to the hole. That's what they gonna tell them. You don't feel safe out here? Catch a misconduct. Put your hands on somebody or do something. We about to we'll take you to a cell by yourself right now. You wanna go down there? But all of them making videos, and what are you doing with a phone, man? What are you doing with a phone? <laughs> Niggas with them phones and the feds. Wow, did you see they 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 doing the dance challenges? <laughs> <coughs> K 
Cass gonna cook 40. I don't see it, man. Cassidy ain't gave no good performances since he been back. No good performances since he been back. The, the caption has me weak. I'm asking y'all. That's a question. There's a question mark behind that. It says, was Dark Lord a studio gangster? Now, the, the conduct that he displayed, what do y'all think about the, the conduct that, that he displayed? I hate when somebody keeps calling me and I'm, I'm obviously sending you the voicemail. I'm not trying to talk to you and you just keep calling me and shit. That's crazy. Probably not a studio gangster, but definitely a dumb one. What you think about this artist versus artist hit challenges? Sorry, I couldn't. I think everybody um, are working with making the best of working with improvised pr provisions like the situation we got to improvise to keep the, the shit going content keep people engaged so that you know the internet battles niggas been doing that for real um the internet battles is cool the b battles is cool if y'all enjoy it if everybody enjoy it it's a plus it's all good Football numbers, the hardest of the hardest will break or bend. Did you hear Nori response to the Lamar Odom controversy? Yeah, I heard him. I heard him. I appreciate the donations from the two people. I couldn't catch your name. I appreciate you, homeboy. Shout out to Willie Esco. I hope y'all enjoyed that interview. It's crack. You get nothing but dope shit over here. Hip hop. You know, you know the deal. That's all you're getting over here. That's all you're getting over here. Hip hop, sports, and fashion. The Real Gully TV. Make sure y'all following me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV, and Twitter, Gully TV One. I'm tweeting again. How you feel about Young Boy disrespected Floyd? Probably wasn't called for. I mean, probably wasn't called for. Went earner, Russian sidekick, Adi Boom, and took his honor. I died. Yeah, Earn got some classic uh, snatches. <laughs> Jeff Ham Hamilton shit was lit. I appreciate it. I'm glad, I'm glad John enjoys that. For those who didn't see it, um, it's a three-part interview with Jeff, Han Ham Jeff Hamilton. Um, fashion icon, started guest for men. A lot of people don't know that. And then he designs the fantastic leather jackets for the celebrities. What you thought about what King Earner did? What do he do now? Will you ever eat fish again? I eat fish. Oh shit! I gotta get a paper towel. Hold on. Is that chop in 69 shit real? I think he, um, Lena Lean, what's up? I think he probably exaggerating just a little bit, but chop need to chill out. He can get somebody hurt. Those different color guest jeans suits was the shit in the 90s. I hope y'all making sure y'all getting y'all ginger intake in here. I go hard body with mine. Um, you see, I got the ginger on the side and shit. See? Got all that good shit. 
save your life. Um, I wanted to de see Six Nine and Pop Smoke do a record. Pop Smoke wasn't gonna do no record with no Six Nine. Are you crazy? Subscribe to the channel. Um, if this your first time on my live, uh, the topic is that it's in the title. If you go to Mikey T the Movie Stars channel, you will see his recent um, one of his recent uh, videos about the OBH trial, and he says um, he basically recounts a, a audio transcript of Dark Lowe's conversation with a girl over the phone since he's been in jail for the intimidation of a witness case. He's made. Two intimidating phone. I mean, uh, I said intimidating. Pardon me. Two incriminating phone calls. Two incriminating phone. Calls. I am on ginger, ginger, turmeric, and elderberry. That's what's up. They tell you the phones. I just text you. They tell you the phones are recorded. Yeah, that's a uh, recording before you call from any institution, state or federal. They let you know that everything you're saying could be monitored or recorded. So you gotta be easy when you get on live. I'd be here uh, time to time when I feel it's a, a, a pertinent topic, um, maybe a breaking news situation or. My opinion on something like this, which um, has been a long-standing topic on my channel. Uh, me and Dark Lowe, we went through some some things at a point in time. But I'm just delivering the news. This is what's going on right now. Um, I think about everything that he's showed since he's been... Everything that he's displayed to me since he's been, I don't know, online... Those aren't traits of a gangster. The person that he said he was, when he didn't go down with them niggas, when he didn't get in trouble with them niggas, when he didn't get in trouble with them niggas, I knew he wasn't who he said he was. No way, no how. No way, no how. And people say, well, he was sick, you know, when I was going on. Sick my ass. Motherfucker ain't sick and letting the motherfucking bricks... 10 bricks, it's bricks around, sick, man, after my dialysis, take me to go get my motherfucking work, you dig what I'm saying, after my dialysis, take me to get my motherfucking work, and if I'm not in good health, I got these niggas that I keep rapping about that ride for me, they pumping this shit, but I'm involved like a motherfucker, when he wasn't involved, when he wasn't involved, I mean, when he didn't get in trouble, I know he felt insecure, and that's why he got he 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 need he wanted to be there with them. That's that's why he did a lot of shit that he did. But he was insecure, but he like damn. That kind of exposed my situation. He said, "I thought they said lower sick during the man sick my ass." I got homies that's on dialysis right now pumping. Pumping like a motherfucker. Got them big ass veins and shit. From always getting the, that shit put in their arms. Pumping right now. Felt guilty about this young boy tab snitching. I understand all that. But I can't put myself in the box. He had just got co-signed by Car uh, Cormega and shit. Cormega was, you know, fuck with Dark Low some type of way. I know they had a picture together and they were interacting on, you know, social media. That's how it starts. And there you go. Plug this in, please. 
Omega B, I appreciate your uh, donation. Why well, Shorty on the second phone call asking about the gun in the house? That phone call is very interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he not keeping in mind that not only they're they're very high profile, right? Not only um, you know. Did they get the Rico case or whatever? But they was rap stars and shit. Like they were re relevant rap musicians. So they getting the ultimate scrutiny. They getting the ultimate scrutiny. They listening to them niggas. They watching their mail. They paying attention to everything. Seriously. He said Dark Low is talking like he had mad bodies. <sighs> What's in that drink? This is ginger. Lemon, I mean ginger, lime, and pineapple. Pineapple is better than cough, uh, cough syrup. It got to be fresh pineapple though. Straight up. Anything bitter or strong is great for you. My man said low talk too much but sturdy. I don't want it to look like I'm standing on that shit. So I ain't going to keep going with it. I appreciate everybody that's here. Um, I ain't going to keep y'all a lot longer. Rap snitches be telling. All the business. Get up in the court and be a star. Talk about a man. Let him in. He said he wanted to go to jail. He said, free dark low. You don't know what you're talking about. You can go listen to the recording. According to Mikey T, the movie star's page, he, 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 he's reciting the, the, the transcripts. Like, don't give, don't give me the case. There's transcripts. Tell me what you think about it. Dark Lord started solid brother. He shouldn't know him better than, than a move like that. Lena, when this quarantine is up, it's us. <laughs> D Stu, what cities is in the building right now? Um, Y'all like this video, please. It's only 141 likes, some of 700 people in here. Come on, man. Why are y'all so lazy? Lena, Lena, put in the chat room like this video in big bold letters with the basketball. <laughs> C. Brown, Boston, London, Camden, New Jersey, Buffalo, Brooklyn, B. Moore, Youngstown, Brick City, Gully, you pussy, my son called you out. Everybody called me out. Nobody jumps on me when they see me in person, though. Detroit, Vancouver, Chester, Staten Island, Milwaukee, Springfield, Detroit, Norfolk, Virginia. That's right, Lena. Get him. Make sure y'all share this live and follow me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV, man. We just kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking the Willie Bobo. You just said, hold on. Comments are going very fast. My man, you you who just said something slick, say it again. I didn't catch it. I know you want a rebuttal, right? Oakland is up in here. Heavy as a motherfucker. Corona Queens. James Bond. Nah.
make sure y'all check out my latest interview with Willie Esco. It's 45 minutes long. Lots of information. He tell y'all how he uh, how he basically courted Nas to the point that um, you know they developed a relationship and. Nas ended up being like the face of the Willie Esco brand, in my opinion. I thought it belonged to him. I said that to him. He said, everybody to call you up, never follow up. You talk online, but never pop up for the fade. But I'm supposed to go meet one of these niggas somewhere. Don't you know I have an itinerary? Didn't you see me with Jeff Hamilton at Beverly Hills having Cosmopolitans? <laughs> you want me to stop? You want me to step out of my element to go meet one of these bum niggas somewhere? You can't be serious. Come on, man. That don't make sense. Exactly. Grown men defend themselves. No one looks for trouble anymore but fools. Get your dribble right. Thank you. Thank you. He said they want bosses to take the bait for jail time. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Jail is expensive. Don't y'all know jail is expensive? It's probably more expensive in jail than it is on the street, damn there. That shit expensive as a motherfucker now. What's for dinner, gully? Fruits and vegetables. Alkaline shit. If you're not sick, get some ginger and turmeric up in your ass. So you don't worry about... It, it, it charges your immune system. If you encounter any sicknesses, your white blood cells can put up a fight. Willie Willie Esco ended up doing business with Jay Z too. Yeah, quite a few people was wearing that shit. That uh, Willie Esco FJ five sixty. Them was the, the brands that was you was getting some money. You was rocking that shit. Does Walmart sell turmeric? Probably turmeric powder. If you want to get a turmeric root or a ginger root, you got to go to a Whole Foods. Or anywhere where you see island people at, they got it. When are you going to do something on Craig Petty's from Memphis? I'll be on some hip-hop shit. I mean, when y'all get them, you know, gangster pieces or whatever, y'all stumble upon that shit. I don't set out to do them joints, for real. Like, I might be doing some type of research and stumble upon the inf information. I'm going to give one to y'all right now. Because I'm not going to do a story on it. I'm not going to do a story on it. Ever. But I'm going to get this to the internet. I found this last night. Y'all ready for this? It was some niggas called the Briley Brothers. The Briley Brothers from um, Richmond, Virginia. These niggas was buck wild retarded. They ended up going to death row. They escaped from death row. Who the fuck escapes from death row? When they caught them, they, they, they executed them. But the Briley brothers is something that I stumbled upon. If I was if that was my objective to... I just gave that to somebody. Now, watch pop a lot of one of these niggas go do it. He said they broke out of jail. They escaped from death row. They escaped from fucking death row, yo. They was brothers. Do you still hold, hold any bad feelings toward or OBH? I never had no bad feelings toward them. I had a conflict with Dark Low. He had me mistaken for somebody else. He misled the internet about who he was, and he, he did just... He was he was wrapped up in his facade of being a gangster. He rapping next to you know Arab. He 
he gotta he gotta his it gotta be as it gotta be as intense as they are ab so Gully, they said black communities are being infected the most by the coronavirus. You know why they saying that? Because they want black communities to run and um, pursue a vaccine. They want black people to be open to get some, get a fucking needle put in their arm and shit. That's why they saying that. Is you sick? Is anybody in here sick? Is everybody in here healthy? Is everybody in here healthy? Is your mama healthy? <laughs> is your mama healthy? He said, Papa did did the Briley Brothers years ago. Oh, see? There you go. Is your mama healthy? Right? Y'all children healthy? Right? Ain't that something? How about that? How about that? Bradley brothers got nabbed in Philly. They did. So everybody, everybody's here. Everybody is here. You good? Six. My man said breaks nine forty. Says sixteen people at my job got it. When they, when they, when when they got it, when you get it or when you got it, what happens? And when you survive it, then what? Like the people who survived it. What did you just get over the flu? What was that? Just the flu for real? Or maybe it was pneumonia or something like that. And you let these people tell it tell you that it was something else. They told you it was Ebola. You motherfuckers checking out because of paranoia. Ain't none of you motherfuckers sick. Everybody that's sick. Everybody that's sick in here. You eat pork. Your body full of viruses already. <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell me one motherfucking virus is wiping motherfuckers out. Y'all been eating chitlins for the last 50 years. That's shit. It don't get no more dirty than that. And y'all was eating it. Y'all eat it. Lots of it. Daily. And y'all ain't sick. And y'all know it come y'all know it shit. Look how bad it smells. The coronavirus don't smell bad. Y'all got a house, the whole house smelling like a barn. Whole house smelling like a horse stable. And y'all still eat that shit. It's a delicacy. <laughs> but y'all ain't got sick from that. And y'all think one motherfucking virus is gonna come. One little, one little eeny gonna come. And y'all to ate 780 million miles of pig intestines over the last 30 years. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. My fuckers in the South be eating coons and shit. Coons. Do y'all know what the fuck a coon is? Ain't that a big rat? That's a big rat, right? Y'all eat that shit. I remember I went in this, I was at this girl crib one time right around Thanksgiving. It might have been a couple days before Thanksgiving. And um, I asked for some water and she was like, go ahead, get some and shit, right? And I went to get a cup and it was a coon in the sink. Her mom had a coon in the sink. And I'm like, oh shit, scared the fuck out of me. Long tail. I'm like, y'all eating that? She's like, my mom, them, you know, they from down south. They like that shit for Thanksgiving. I'm like, y'all really eating that? I couldn't believe this shit. I couldn't believe this shit. Coon. Some coon eating niggas in here. Some coon eating niggas in here. <laughs> my man said possum is good as fuck. Now, you know what a possum is, right? You know what a possum is. He said, I'm good. I'm a city boy. Yeah, we don't we don't encounter that shit in the city. If you go below the Mason Dixon line, they start eating all kind of wild shit. 
that's where the Piggly Wigglies and all that type shit start popping up. When you start going down south. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, man. Y'all got to stop eating pork. You got to add this to your arsenal. The Gingino. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like you might see a little bit of chunks in my shit. That's lime and shit is good. Though. It's a uh, mineral called lecithin, if I'm not mistaken. That's found in the skin of um, orange peels, grapefruit peels, um, lemon peels. So when I put my lime in the juicer, I just blend it up. He said it's a mix with lemon. I squeezed the uh, lime in there and then, you know. I've been making and drinking ginger the past week. I've also been drinking garlic water. Fight, fight, fight. My man said they have it in the store. You just don't know what to get, don't know what to look for. Don't tell me you about to go in on dark low again. No, no, no. I put this video together to share the breaking news with y'all, right? And not only that, the beef is monetized. The beef is monetized. This is what some people um, get fucked up, especially with me. The beef is monetized. Niggas be fucking around and shit and doing little shit, man. Don't you know each one of these motherfucking videos is worth fucking money? If a mother, you know why people be staying on this motherfucker for two hours now? It ain't the coronavirus. It ain't the quarantine. If you got a two-hour video, three-hour video, you can put ads all through that motherfucking video. You could put fifty ads through that motherfucking video. You dig? All people got to do is just watch that shit halfway. They done went through like eight, nine ads. Cha-ching, 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 ching ching That's how YouTube work. He said, I fucking knew it. Yeah, that's why they be on here. <laughs> Y'all thought they like you people? <laughs> I got shit to do. I can't be on this motherfucking two hours with y'all. But that's that's about. Mm -hmm. 700 people here and 200 likes. Lazy ass niggas. What about 6 9 getting out? He put a whole fucking organization in jail and shit. You, didn't you know that he was getting out soon? He said, that's why bum-ass scheme be on here five times a day. Yeah, he taking y'all to the cleaners. <laughs> oh, shit. He taking y'all to the cleaners. Y'all ain't know that? Y'all thought these niggas be on here. He said, Bullets Gotti be on for hours. Yeah. That's where they could put a bunch of ads in the motherfucking videos and shit. I'm giving the game up, huh? I shouldn't be saying this, huh? I'm telling it. <laughs> Damn, they naming everybody to be doing two, three hour videos now. I ain't know that many people was doing that shit. Star. Star been doing it. You something like a coward. I thought you were different from these bloggers. I don't give a fuck what you think about me, nigga. I don't know you. We not related. We not gonna hang out. None of that shit. The beef is monetized. Everything that's going on now. I was on it when he was on the streets. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not kicking dirt on him. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm a, I'm laughing. When 50 Cent be fucking with Jimmy Henchman, cracking jokes and picking and shit, y'all don't say nothing. I had an issue with this nigga. This nigga threatened my life. You dig me? This nigga threatened my life. This nigga threatened my life, right? I monetized that shit. And whenever I get on this motherfucking talk about it, this is a marketing push. You dig? This is what happened when you come into my world. Straight up. And I didn't tell him to send me no motherfucking videos or none of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, didn't nobody tell him to send that boy no motherfucking letter in jail. 
You dig? So don't be mad at me. The beef is monetized and shit. Mm, mm. They said the like button is fucking up. They don't want y'all. They don't want y'all to put me in the search engine. Young Chop keeping the internet fun. I don't know what type shit he on, man. Probably need to be cool. Be cool. Do Young Chop seem to be wor worried about the coronavirus? <laughs> Do Chop seem to be working about uh, worried about the coronavirus? My man said the like button worked for me. It's almost 700 people here. It ain't even. We don't even got half the likes. Half of y'all don't even like me. Why are you here? I ain't asked y'all for a donation. Never. In the career of my motherfucking platform. And y'all won't even like my content. No, y'all wrong. That's cool. I'm still going to drop a few videos on y'all today. Got it? He said, chop ride and Uber strap. LH Smith, Smith TV, that's true. He said, you clickbaiting. Go to another channel then, my nigga. You're not, you not handcuffed here. You're not trapped here. <laughs> the fuck? Boom, boom. Do you think the NFL season will happen? They not even training right now and shit. They would be like, I mean, they probably training amongst themselves at home and shit like that. But they not even, they didn't put the brakes on the world, on industry. They didn't put the brakes on this motherfucker. But um, the narrative about coronavirus running wild in the black community. Y'all know everything is, y'all know everything is bad with us. As far as the media is concerned. You know, we, did y'all expect good news concerning us? Them niggas got it. Oh, them niggas got it. It's not fucking true. Don't believe that shit. Don't believe that shit. Why y'all talking about Low when he not here to defend himself? I don't give a fuck about none of the rules that y'all talking about. I don't give a fuck about none of I don't roll with none of you niggas. I'm an introvert, you dig? I'm a tough guy. I can defend myself. I can say what the fuck I want. This is what it is and shit. You dig? This shit monetized. You know what I mean? I'm saying I'm saying how the fuck I feel about it. Mikey T, the movie star, put the interview out. Dark Low on the fucking phone running his mouth like a talk show host. Go listen to that shit. You dig? And if you don't like it here, unsubscribe and move around, my nigga. Straight up. The transcript is out of pocket. Lowe didn't defend himself breaking the rules, talking out of pocket. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? We supposed to keep this shit a secret? We supposed to... This shit that he doing, we supposed to keep this shit a secret because it's him? Is this not supposed to be talked about? That this nigga doing all this motherfucking talking on him, incriminating him, incriminating his motherfucking self? We not supposed to say nothing about it? We not supposed to say nothing about it? I've been covering OBH content. I'm not supposed to say nothing about it. Been doing this shit. Fuck out of here. Trendsetter Shady was right. Ch Trendsetter Shady was right. He was right. And the nigga wasn't getting no bread. I told y'all that. Niggas just bout some money. Don't even fucking move like that. That nigga sent me a video talking about, oh, somebody could shoot you. I mean, sue you. Man, you don't shut your goofy ass, nerd. <laughs> In my fucking DM sending me comedy videos. The fuck is you talking about? You don't even fucking know me. Y'all, man. Come on, man. 
He said, you tough now, low on the feds. Man, I beat low the fuck up. When, on the, when he was on the street, I told him that. I showed y'all the videos of, I released the videos of what happened the whole time. He ain't never posed no threat to me. You dig what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how, I expect you niggas to be in the comments saying, oh, you said, I don't give a fuck about you niggas. I don't care about nothing you niggas saying. You niggas not fresh like me. You don't get no bread like me. Y'all don't be in my world. And niggas like him don't be in my fucking world. You dig? You dig? So, yeah. Was he a studio gangster? Look at him. Look at what he did. All them raps. Talking all that killer shit. Look what he did. Got in, got, got in, the, got in the system. Threw his, threw his fucking freedom. Threw his freedom away. I don't give a fuck. Threw his fucking freedom away. Right? And now he in jail. Running his fucking mouth on the fucking... Take the phone away from this nigga. I don't give a fuck. Shit, viral this shit. Viral this shit. Them niggas don't like me anyway. I don't give a fuck. Viral this shit. Viral this shit. I don't give a fuck. Straight up. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. Go listen to the motherfucking video. Go listen to the video. I didn't put him in jail. He put himself in jail. And he brought the snitch around. And he brought the snitch around. He's just having a bad fucking experience. It's not my fault. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm a made nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If y'all don't know by now, y'all know I'm a made nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that. This is what I was trying to tell that nigga when we was going through our issue. I'm like, man, you a little nigga, man. You nothing. You nothing. The fuck? Am I angry? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm trying to push this video to two hours so I can throw 50 fucking ads in this motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, I did it. 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 Be mad. Check me. Do something to me. Yeah, I did it. So what? Not my fault. Not my fault. Not my fault. I didn't start with him. I didn't start with him. He threatened my life. So, the beef is monetized. The beef is monetized. I don't give a fuck. I got my own shit going. Go look at my channel. Flip through there. Don't that look like independent thought? Don't that look like independent muscle? Look at that shit. It's the real gully TV. Fucking step in my world, man. Expect to be get all the way just man crumble, my nigga. He said, I thought they didn't let you monetize if you're curious. Oh, they love shit like this. They want us to fight. They want us to fight. They want us to beef. They love this type shit. They did. He said, you know, Noy was talking about you on his live. I don't care. I'm the best. I'm the best thing popping on the internet. These niggas got nothing. Hip hop, sports, and fashion. You tell me another platform got the three. You tell me another. And I'll be fresher than these niggas. I ain't rich. And I'll be fresher than these niggas. These niggas, they, I, I don't know, they millionaires, whatever. I'll be fresh as a motherfucker. Come through snap next. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. He said, yeah, they love nigga shit. He said, I ain't seen an ad in three years. I don't care, man. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But, yeah. Scroll through. Scroll through. Vlad had Ab and Dark Low incriminating themselves. Y'all wasn't coming for him like y'all doing. They ain't doing nothing to me. I'm going to say this shit anyway. I ain't said nothing about AR Ab. I ain't got nothing to say about him. I ain't said nothing about none of them niggas and shit. Talking about this nigga and shit. You dig? The video came out today. Y'all didn't hear it? Aren't you a Muslim? <laughs> 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 I 
Y'all crack me the fuck up when y'all say that shit, yo. Niggas be killing and selling drugs and terrorizing communities and shit. And then y'all want Muslim law. Y'all want them to be respected and protected by Muslim law. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Come on, man. Come on, man. He said, Gully, remember you had the orange Sunni? I was on a run. I was on a run. It was red. That was henna. I was on a run back then. I was on a run. This shit real over here, money. I was constantly changing my appearance back then. Go look at the videos. I cut. I I, I had the henna on it. I had the henna on. Then I had a goatee. Then I cut the hair totally off my face. Y'all don't remember that? Y'all remember that? Go look at the videos. Shit real over here, yo. <laughs> he said from prison to this Come on my G Yeah from prison to one of the biggest niggas in the media game I got two movies to my credit My third one Banned from YouTube That shit going to distribution soon That'll be three I got a book on the way I got my own snapback partnership My nigga I'm doing just dandy after prison And I've been out here since 2004 I ain't even been back I th I think I'm doing just fine my nigga Know what I mean I think I'm doing just fine my nigga It's a criminal's job to keep himself out of jail Not an interviewer Boom, boom, boom. I wasn't there long He said why they hate I'm the nigga you love to hate It's supposed to be that way I'm the shit I'm used to it I, I'm, I'm used to it I've been, I've been under these circumstances My whole life I'm used to it Straight up Straight up Got to humble yourself king Why would a fucking king humble himself Go look at the dictionary and you'll see the conflict in what you just said, man. Don't get on here using words you don't know. You don't know the, the definition to. You don't know the real def definition of a word. Don't get in here and use it. How do you put humble and king in the same fucking in the same fucking sentence? Does that make any sense? Y'all hear this nigga? Y'all hear this nigga? Humble yourself, king. Who the fuck tells the king to be humble? Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? <laughs> That's what y'all don't like. It ain't no humble shit over here. Rest of these niggas humble. Rest of these niggas humble. Here we go with that humble shit. Right. Don't bring that shit in here, man. Ain't no slaves in here, money. Ain't no slaves in here, money. Go look at the definition. He said, nah, no, no. This ginger. This ginger. I appreciate the donation. I didn't. I didn't just catch your name, uh, homie. You mighty tough online. <laughs> he said You mighty tough online <laughs> He said ain't low basically snitching He on the phone talking about some man He killed mad people and all this crazy shit <laughs> <laughs> He said you tough online that's that 30 plus year win streak and make you cocky. It's that 30 plus year win streak. Don't blame me. Blame the win streak. Blame it on the dribble. Blame it on the dribble. Ricky Lee got locked up again in the States. He got arrested after, arrested after trying to enter USA illegally. Hopefully you can interview him. He said, people don't even listen to the song. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Y'all didn't pay attention to the song? 
Sit down. Blackout Customs. That's what I'm talking about, money. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a made nigga. I'm a made nigga. I'm like Percy Miller and them niggas. He said, Mikey T, the movie star. Go to that channel. Just listen. Just listen. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Shout out to all you dick ride niggas who was grinning in my face and went and did music with him. Just wanted to say that. Now. Look at you now. You know what I mean? Look at you now. He destroying your features. He destroying your features. He destroying the credibility of, of your features. He destroying that shit. It's not my fault. Ether. It's not my fault. Check me. I be around. I be around. Niggas come holler at me and shit. Got, you know, feel some type of way about what I said, my nigga. Holler at me and shit. He said what he told about. Go listen. Go to Mikey T, the movie star uh, chain, uh, channel. Mikey T, the movie star. I'm, I'm going to get Mikey T views up one time. Go to Mikey T, the movie star. And just listen. Tell me what you think. Tell me who was that gangster. Tell me who was that gangster. He said he was a gangster. I told y'all my Haitian Jack Speaks film. I said, I ain't no gangster. I told y'all that. I'm about paper and shit. Dig? I'm corporate nigga. I'm one of them. You dig? But he said he's a gangster. He said he's a gangster. Tell me what you think. Slim, that's all true, I think. He said gully clickbait and it ain't no paperwork. Mikey T reading the transcripts. That's paperwork, ain't it? Ain't that, ain't that paperwork with Mikey T holding in his hand what he's reading from on that channel? Ain't those documents? I don't think he created his channel to defame him, did he? He said, Clout, I already got the juice, my nigga. I already got the juice. You know what it's like? You know what it's like to be big man on campus? You know what this like? You know what that's like? Been big man on campus all my life. You know what it's like to have all the all the fly bitches looking at you wherever, every everywhere you go, my nigga. You know what you know what it's like to be being being able to mingle with all the gorgeous. You know what that's like. You don't know what that's like, do you? These niggas don't know what that's like. He said, "Look at your views." <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I'm earning incredibly, incredibly. Straight up. Straight up. Y'all don't know what that's like. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that's like. He said, that's not official paperwork. That's a transcript from a phone call. They can use that in court, dickhead. That's official fucking paperwork, moron. That's why they tell you the call can be monitored or recorded. Hello? I ain't your bro. I ain't your bro. If you if you if you oppose me, I'm I'm 100% not your bro. So don't even, you know what I mean? He said it's 48 pages of paperwork. He said what you drive, Gully? Delta, American, US Air, Air Canada. The latest model. <laughs> you asked me, I told you. 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 Can't take them whips on the plane. Can't take them whips on the plane. 
Can't take him on the plane. Can't. He said this all for views 100%, my nigga. 100%. He said, Mikey T just show, showed you love. Hopefully you didn't miss it. I'm telling the truth about what's going on on this channel. I'm just tuned in. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at the dribble. He said the two phone calls Low made from Jailgate gave him more ammunition. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm just relaying the muse to y'all. I'm just asking y'all, was he a studio gangster? He said, you and Ty, you can't even spell, my nigga. You need grammar. You need Sylvan Learning Center or something, my nigga. You need a tutor or something. Straight up. He said, you got a big mouth. I know. I had that title my whole life. A nigga with them big lips be talking shit. That nigga talk a lot of shit. You think I just got like this? You think this just started? I'm too comfortable doing it, right? I'm too comfortable doing it, right? Follow me on Diggo Mikey T. Look, look, look. He's right there. Mikey T, the movie star. It's his video. It's his video. He said, why don't you ask him to his face when he get out? He don't be the places I be. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no money. He don't, be, he don't be the places I be. He ain't got no money. He said, yep, but put it back up. He took it down. Just listen to the whole interview with Mikey T. He's about to read a 30-page document soon. A. Smith said, Mikey T, with friends like you who need enemies, man, don't you know that man is concerned about his channel and the monetization of his channel? Don't you think, do you think he's going to compromise the monetization of his channel? He said, are you worried? I ain't, man. He said, Google say you got 47K. That's all I got. That's all I got. He said, where did you... He said, I interviewed Dark Low before. Um, he sent me some videos to my DM talking crazy. Talking crazy. Y'all don't even know. Do y'all know he got screamed on for sending me them videos? He got screamed on. He got screamed on by, by Ab. You're not authorized to do shit like that. Did I tell you you could do that? Shady told me all of it. I'm giving y'all the raw truth. You're not even allowed to be talking like that. Why would you send him a video like that? Talking about some... Why would you send him a video like that? He got screamed on. He said, you still mad, dark, low checked. I never got checked by nobody. Nobody ever checked me. Nobody ever checked me. That's not how you check somebody. You put your hands on somebody or you do something to somebody. That's how you check somebody. You don't check a person across the internet. That's not how it go. And I'm visible as a motherfucker. I'm visible as a motherfucker. Don't I be everywhere? I film this shit. Don't I be everywhere? Let's stick to the facts. Look at my channel. What the fuck do you want? What you want, my nigga? Boom, 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 boom. He said, where you be? I'm from NYC because I never seen you out. You ain't got no bread, my nigga. You ain't got no bread. 
You got you got nothing. Where you gonna run into me at? Don't you see me in where you see me at? Rolls Royces, Beverly Hills, the Dominican Republic, Dubai. Where you gonna see me at? Paris, France. Where you gonna see me at? I'm just being for real, my nigga. Where you gonna see me at? You're poor. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're poor. You just you're 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 poor. You have a big mouth. You're frustrated. Hope that virus don't get on your ass. Ginger costs money. Turmeric, all that shit costs money. Elderberry, black seed oil, that shit costs money. You're poor. That's why you in here angry right now. Because I'm on here trying to earn, trying to make me a play. And you're angry. Because I'm on here with a video about a nigga that threatened my life. You have a poor attitude. Then <laughs> you're just poor. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Don't come in here and if, you, if you're poor. Don't <laughs> come in here talking that nut shit, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been telling, yo, I work to get like this. It's just me. I carry the camera. I ask the questions. I edit. I built this shit. Do you think I can't talk like, you're poor. Man, I used to be walking in New York City, man, in my Wallaby, I had some Wallaby Clark song one time. I was coming from this listening party, Young Buck listening party with Maine Owen. Some other people. And I had to walk back to the train. You know, after you do your filming, you know, your chauffeur, your riding the Range Rovers and shit is over and shit. All of that, getting to ride in the Range Rovers and shit, that's over. After they get their interview, you're going about your business. So I got to go back to the train. It started raining like a motherfucker. I had on a cream pair of Clarks. Every step I took, it was water squirting out the motherfuckers like whoosh, whoosh. I'll never forget that shit, right? During this period, during this period of time, let me tell you how I'm learning New York City, right? If somebody tell me, yo, I'm up here on 45th. I'm hopping in taxi cabs going to 45th Street. I don't know that they talking about it's 145th Street. This is how I'm learning the city. This is how expensive this shit was. For years. Wasn't no Ubers popping. That shit wasn't around. Train or cab. Get there. You think I'm going to let one of you po ignorant niggas come in here and tell me how to operate this motherfucker now? Are you serious? <laughs> you can't be serious. You can't be serious. Come on, man. You're poor. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Y'all need this content right now. Y'all know y'all love that. Pass me that L. Y'all know y'all love that nigga shit. That's why so many of y'all here. If I was talking about health and fitness, it'd only be 300 people here. We on nigga time. You know, so, mm-hmm, on your young chop, whatever y'all want to call it, man, I was the first to tell you it's monetized, man, understand that, understand that. I Nothing about this added to the added to the crime rate. It didn't.
I like health and fitness, nigga. No doubt. You carry a camera and depend on other people to make a coin. Do you know what that mean? That mean I'm a hard worker and I ain't never ever asked y'all for donations on here. That's what that mean. I ain't never asked y'all for no, I never asked y'all to buy me no laptop. I never asked y'all to pay for no trip of mine. That shit, the night when I had to go see Haitian Jack, that shit costed bread. That was an expense. You feel me? Straight up. Hard work. Hit y'all with Jeff Hamilton. Hit y'all with Jeff Hamilton. Bryce back to back. Boom, boom, boom. The views is up on the Haitian Jack Speaks joints too. I appreciate that from everybody. He said, such and such and then be begging for cash. I never seen you do so. It ain't gonna happen. Kirk, Kirk Palmer, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. He said, is that a, a shot at Queen's food? That, that ain't a shot at nobody. I'm just saying. I ain't never asked nobody to buy me nothing. I don't even move like that. And I definitely ain't going to say it in fucking public on the internet. You crazy? Tell a room full of bitches you ain't got no money. The fuck is wrong with you niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Cutting yourself off at the knees. <laughs> at least pretend to be rich. Nigga, we going to get there. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He said, don't let these trolls get you. Trolls? What the fuck is a troll? What the fuck is a troll? Motherfucker with an ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> ugly niggas hate me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Lena, don't kick the trolls out. <laughs> Leave them niggas in here. Suffer. <laughs> grind. Gully stands for grind until life leaves you. God's universal love lives in you. Can you dig it? Nothing, nah, but serious, you changed the game. You see how all them dudes be hating on you when you did that Haitian Jack interview, but now these YouTubers trying to get an interview with legendary gangsters. I'm the one set that shit off. I'm the one that set the whole gangster shit off. I'm the one that made that the shit to do. You dig? If you, that's everybody's goal. Oh, I gotta get one of these old drug dealer niggas. Jeezy versus Fab. What you got? Two different styles of music. Nobody ever interviewed Haitian Jack ever. Nope. They prepared my Wikipedia right now. I'm, I'm feeling that motherfucker. Every day is a new accomplishment. Every day is a new accomplishment. Stat stuffers. The Wikipedia is on stat stuffer right now. He said, keep running your plays, bro. When you get an Apple up here. I don't know, man. I don't think Apple's going to do no interview and shit. I'll be shocked. He said, Gully, you know who Dark Little Dad is, right? Oh my goodness. Will I interview 6 9 with the quickness? With the quickness. With the quickness. One thing about me, too, you can quote this I ain't gonna never tell on my motherfucking self. Believe you me. I ain't gonna never put the cuffs on my motherfucking self. 
straight up. You know it all, my nigga saying. Down there around them picnic tables. You know what they saying down there around them picnic tables. Y'all know about the picnic tables, right? That's where the homies be congregated at. In the yards and the prisons and shit. You know what they saying? While they down there doing time with my son. And my nephews and shit like that. They saying to themselves, damn man, we was down here doing time with Jamil and shit. We was down here with Jamil. And now we down here with his kids and his nephews and shit. And we still in this motherfucker. What the fuck did we do wrong? What decision did I make that kept me here? What changes could I have made? Because my homie, no matter what they say about my homie, he ain't been back to this motherfucking penitentiary. Now. How about that? Trinidad and lineup. That's what I was going to say. AZ, I'm working on it. I appreciate the donation, my man. Um, shout out to Switzerland. Shout out to Switzerland. Mm. Can y'all like this video? Push the push the likes up to 500. We halfway there. We halfway there. Elkton Federal Penitentiary going viral about the coronavirus. Elk Fort. I just spoke about that. They not let nobody out of jail who got no sentence, yo. They got to protect the fucking community from motherfuckers, man. You feel me? They have to protect the... They can't let motherfuckers out of jail. If you got a bail, if you have a bail, or maybe you're an old-ass man, they might do something for them. But if you have a bail, and you in a county or some shit like that, they might waive your bail and, you know, give you an OOR and tell you, man, go ahead, get, get out of here. We'll we see you in like nine months, six months or whatever. They might do that. But if you're doing time, if you're sentenced... If you're doing time, you're not getting the fuck out of jail, my nigga. They'll move you around to every jail on the planet. They will have niggas locked up in gyms and army barracks and shit like that. They not let motherfuckers go for free. Is you crazy? The system? It's their business to keep motherfuckers housed. You think they turning their licks loose? Nah. He said, Gully, that's not true. They let just let 6 9 out early. That nigga was about to get the fuck out. He was about to get the fuck out. He said, especially for Rico and violent cases. Yeah, them niggas not getting the fuck out of jail. They not. They, that's like laughable. You think it, you getting some. You think you getting some motherfucking leniency from a motherfucker to get mad when you ask for some motherfucking paper towels or toilet paper or some shit. These are the motherfuckers that you uh think gonna let you go home. You feel me? Not gonna happen. He said they'll be home. Yeah, because they 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 parole date in view. They parole date in view. Pre-release or some shit. They might ship some niggas to a halfway house who was on their way home. They might try to expedite that. But if you go, if you're doing time, you're not going home. <laughs> That shit with Robbie was foul. They was knocking down their own people. That shit made me sick to my stomach. That's also on Mikey T, the movie star's channel. Um, the way Taz set up and was stalking the boy Robbie and the way they lured him to the... That... <sighs> I 
He said a lot of high-powered Mexican drug lords trying to get out for that too, but the feds ain't letting them go. Nah. He said they don't know that because they never had to go through the system. Anyone who got more than two years ain't coming home. Trust that. Facts. Never seen Mikey T's channel. I'm about to go look. I ain't going to be on here much longer. I appreciate y'all for coming through. I established my uh, I established my topic very well. Y'all can pull this shit back and listen to it. And you can uh, flip through my channel and look at the history of me and Dark Low, man. Whoever won't wreck, whatever. I'm up out of here, though. Appreciate y'all for coming through. What happened to Skinny Me? Is he out of prison? Nah, he locked up. London City He said what about Bill Cosby Bill got a chance They'll let somebody like Bill Cosby home He old Got a lot of influence They'll push him to a halfway house If his time getting short They'll send him to the halfway house a year early. You can go to a halfway house 18 months early and shit, but aside from that, if you young and you 20s and your 30s and shit like that, you're not getting out of jail. And not until you did all that motherfucking time. That's how they play. But subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at GullyTV1. And follow me on Instagram, The Real Gully TV. I'm out of here. Peace.